Marquise came into my office one day and um, he said, uh, Mr. Wheeler, I, I want to be a teacher and um, I've heard about it, call me Mr. Program, and I just want to know if I qualify for a scholarship. And we sat and we talked about a teacher who took the taste for learning out of his mouth by looking only at raw data. But thank God there was another teacher there. He walked up and he said, Mr. Austin, I have something to tell you. I says, well, what is it? He says, I can't read. I can't read at all. He says, I've been making things up, looking at pictures, uh, and I need help. Will you teach me to read? Well, th those are the words every teacher wants to hear. Uh, and uh, from that point on, it was, what can we do to get him to read? And it took a lot of courage in a little seven-year-old, eight-year-old boy to step up to, to a teacher, to a man teacher, and I was one of the first in the school, and tell me that he couldn't read and ask if I could teach him. And uh, he, was, he was unique among many of my students. I was excited when I found out he was going into education. After, after our time together in third grade, I followed him a little while through um, middle school. I did a lot of praying for him. Uh, next time I saw him was in high school and he had told me he had been accepted to, to Morris College and he was gonna try to be a teacher. And I was excited for him. To be in a position to bring in um, a new teacher, Marquise, was, it, it was his first teaching job uh, into our school district um, was, was something that I really looked forward to, especially as an African-American teacher uh, coming through and just knowing the reputation of Call Me Mister. Um, I was really excited when Marquis said yes, because he had a number of uh, offers on the tape. Uh, I could look out in the audience and I, I, I could see some of me in Marquis. First of all, he came in uh, with a suit on, necktie, uh, clothes on just right, and he carried himself like a professional. And I knew uh, right then and there that he was serious about uh, not only his job as a teacher, but about this profession. And that's what our young people need to see. Call Me Mister has a, a very solid reputation. Uh, first of all, uh, these young men, uh, now young women, uh, are, they're well balanced, they're well spoken, they're well dressed. Uh, and he brought all of those things to uh, this school that I knew had a lot of potential. Um, I was introduced to Marquis that he was going to be my supervising uh, teacher through my teaching uh, student experience. I won uh, first year teacher of the year. Going through the Cobb and Mr. program in attendance of, you know, brotherhood and stewardship and all those things uh, with Marquis, him embodying that and, and giving that and showing that to me, not only uh, did I experience that with Calvin Mister, but I, I learned it uh, as well as me, you know, going through the program, graduating from Limestone uh, University, being one of the first graduates of Calvin Mister from Limestone, uh, becoming a fil uh, facilitator of the program at Limestone for a few years, and then now to me, you know, going from having that success as a district teacher of the year, going into admin, just a, you know, a few years later, uh, taking over my own school. Now I'm the uh, principal at the second largest school in Cherokee County school district uh, just being eight years into education uh, I would never have had a success that I've experienced personally um, in my professional career as well if it weren't for you know Dr. Marquise Clark. My name is Lee Andre Montgomery I am a principal uh, Hem at Hemway Elementary School um, I was in the common Mr. program from 2006 um, to now. I say I'm still in because anytime Mr. Calls I'm always willing to help um, of course, you know, by me already done graduated, um, so I'm not there physically on campus, but being uh, an alumni, of course, um, a fellow graduate, anytime any messes need help, anytime Mr. Holton uh, need help, we're always there to answer the call. Mr. Clark is a servant leader. Mr. Clark is someone you will always want to have 
on speed dial. Um, he is someone who is always willing to help you no matter what time of the day it is. Um, as principals, I know that one thing that we don't have is time, but if you all, if, but anytime you call Mr. Clark, he's always there to answer your call. Um, and he's always been like that. Um, coming from, uh, to see how Mr. Clark has transformed from being someone coming in from Morris College, when he came, stepped foot on Clemson, uh, he was lacking confidence. He was like, uh, and, and we didn't know we were cousins. Couldn't find out when we were at the internship, we found out we were cousins. He's like, cuz, I don't know cuz, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Until now you have this Dr. Clark, and I mean, he's literally Dr. Clark. And, uh, you know, just to see his growth, uh, his transformation is beautiful. To a room and knowing that you've been molded and shaped by some of the best in the country, not only in terms of Call Me Mister, but also the program experts that Mister has brought in through internships, through uh, cohort meetings. As we always say in Call Me Mister, it's a milk to meat process. So certainly when I came in, in 2007, I was on milk and wasn't ready for any real meat. And quite honestly, I resented all of the meat eaters in Call Me Mister. And because of the intervention of those gentlemen and other misters who I've met along the way, uh, have certainly played an invaluable role in me growing and cutting my teeth to be able to process and eat meat. You, all you know is Holden's coming at me, <laughs> right? All you know is Holden's coming at me. And so so we get that, and it's, it's never personal. And I'm gonna call him Marquise because that's the transformation that we're talking about, right? So when we get a mister, you know, they are who they are. Um, they go through the laboratory to become Mr. Clark. Um, that term mister is one that we we really want to hold to a, to a high standard. When we start talking about calling Mister, again, we know that calling Mister is a process, and we are all a part of that process. You know, the best of calling Mister is really, really the best of humanity. I am. I am. I am. I am. Serving leader. The graduate is so the concept. Serving leader is the role model for elementary schools. I am devoted to planting seeds and digging trees to protect my children and inspiring them to cultivate those seeds, producing a crop of progress and success. I want to see freedom, variety, arithmetic, progress, self-esteem, imagination, and determination. Because I'm not going to promise, I'm not going to have my earnings to say that I can. I don't know if it's only important for one's character and integrity to be taken as use. So when you address me, please verbalize my destiny. Please not call me by my first name. Call me a reference to my great vision. Call me a business.